Oh yeah, welcome to Body Bags. And for Random Week, I decided to do a film I bought at the Dollar Tree. Into the Ashes. This is a revenge film, and this will tug at your heartstrings just a little bit. Lots of good action in this film. Luke Grimes from Yellowstone and American Sniper's in this film. He does a really good job. Frank Grillo's in this one. And it's a film from 2019, directed by Aaron Harvey, who did The Neighbor, Idiot, and Catch-44, amongst other films. Um, I had only seen Catch-44, and I thought that was pretty good, for Bruce Willis. Uh, but yeah, Into the Ashes, lots of good action in this film. A very interesting ending, and I'll get to that later on. I'm going to show you the disc first. You know, Dollar Tree, and you get a slipcover. Uh, can you beat that? Here it is. Here's the back. Let's go to your local Dollar Tree and pick this one up. Lots of good action in this film. Um, a death scene that will definitely tug at your hot strings, but yeah. Good revenge film. And it's about sometimes you just can't get away from your past. And it's something we all struggle with, right? Right. So, um, let me get into the context of the film. Luke Grimes, he's the lead actor in this one, and uh, plays Nick Brenner. And Nick Brenner has a good life right now. He has a really good job. He has a very loving wife, uh, Tara, played by Marguerite Moreau. And she's so sweet. She cooks for him. She takes good care of him. She makes sure he has snacks uh, for him to go to work with. And she's just a doting wife. And she's adorable. And something bad happens to her, and it makes me feel sad when things like that happen. Um... So, like I say, he has a great job, he has a good best friend, and uh, his past wasn't always the best, though. Um, he used to rob, he had a, him and two other friends, one was Sloan, one was Frank. Uh, they did some bad things, they did some robberies, and the last robbery they did was a real botched one, where <laughs> Nick took, took off and he had all the loot with him. And he never thought he was ever going to see uh, Frank and Sloan again. Now, well, Frank escaped, he went one way, and Sloan got arrested and he was in jail for many years. Now that Nick has his life in order, guess what happens? Sloan gets out of jail, hooks up with Frank and some dolt, some idiot that was hanging around with Frank, some incompetent dude. <laughs> and of course, they want their loot back. So they're going to track down Nick and get their money back and then do some bad things to him. So while they're on their way to Nick's place, Nick is going on a hunting trip with his friend Sal. Yeah, they got on a little hunting trip, a little getaway. Uh, Sal and Nick, best buddies, work buddies. And, um, yeah, they're going on a trip. So they go away on the trip, and Marguerite packs them some food to take with him as being a good wife. And so they're on their trip. They're having a good time. He calls uh, Tara. Um, first couple times she picked up, they were able to talk. But the third time she doesn't pick up. So now he thinks something's up. So he rushes back home, and in the meantime, Sloan beat him to the punch. He already made it there. And spoiler alert, him X is pretty upset about this one. Are you ready for this one? Well, these guys, Sloan, does a bad thing. They end up killing his wife, Tara. And then they hide and they're just waiting for him to come in. So when he comes in, he finds Tara's body, which tugged at my hot strings because she was such a nice donor wife. And Marguerite Moreau played such a good role. She did such a great job playing Tara. Um, that it really tugged at your heart. So it really, it really hurt. And, uh, you know, she was there in the pool of blood. And then all of a sudden Sloan pops up, and they just beat the hell out of him. They shoot him a couple times, and they just leave him for dead. Now, when you leave someone for dead, you better make sure they're really dead, because they're going to come back and get revenge. And that's exactly what Nick did. Nick and Sal getting together, getting their hunting rifles, and they're going to go hunting for Sloan and Frank. And that other dope that was hanging around with him. <laughs> I was such an idiot, I'm telling you. Amateur, real amateur. <laughs> and, well, dead bodies pop up. And a very interesting ending where it's like teasing you that it's not really going to explain how exactly people were killed. But then I was like, alright, we'll do it. Which is a very interesting ending. <laughs> I don't know why they went that route. They could have just left had, you know, shown you the, the dead bodies and not explained anything, that would have been okay, but then it, it almost looks like the movie's going to end, and then it goes, oh, okay, we'll show you everything, and then, then it goes back, then it goes forward again, and then back again, and then it finally shows you how everything unravels. Very interesting ending, though. <laughs> My wife hated it. She hated it. She's like, why didn't they just keep the movie going? <laughs> showing, showing them getting revenge and everything. Why did they have to tease you and then go back and then go back and forward forward again <laughs> when they didn't do that through the whole film <laughs> into the ashes is fun luke ryan's does a really good job margaret moreau does great frank grillo as sloan does a really good job 
Um, hot wrenching death scene with the wife, but um, the revenge death scenes are really cool. Um, really enjoyed this one. Lots of bloodshed towards the end, not so much in the beginning of the film. But yeah, really fun film. Lots of really good action. This movie really surprised me. Because I didn't know what to expect picking this one up from Dollar Tree, but I'll tell you something. For a blind buy, this was not, not too bad. I kind of really enjoyed this one. A very well acted film. Good revenge film. There you go. Into the ashes. So, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. I do I give this one a solid 7.5. I had a really good time watching this film. Ending kind of weird, but who cares? All right. I only picked this up for a dollar. So if it totally sucked, it was like, eh, I already spent, I only spent a dollar on it. What the hell? But it didn't really suck. It was really good. And I highly recommend checking this one out. Um, check out your local Dollar Tree if they have this one with the slip cover. I know Hamilton Books has this for like $4.95, but yeah, well worth the buy. Into the Ashes, check it out. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Uh, please subscribe to Body Bags. And if you want, crispy movies as well. Oh, yeah. Um, I have updates coming in on my channel, you know, Blu-ray updates, DVD updates, and of course, everything you see on Body Bags, I put right on my channel. Yeah. Check out all the other Body Bags reviewers. They're passionate about film, and they all review great films. And next week, I'm going to bring something fun to the table for all of you to enjoy. And yes, I did say, say all of you. My English is a little bit off there. And uh, don't forget to check out those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Mags, but don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we call Body Bags, and check out Into the Ashes.